All right, so before I start, by the way, that is Berlin Airport. Um, so before I start today's video, I just want to make a quick announcement. People who are looking for admissions in 2020, which is summer intake, next coming intake in Germany or in France, please reach out to me via email on this email ID. Put a subject line, admissions 2020, summer intake, and I'm damn sure we'll get back to you within a week's time. That's the maximum because we do get a lot of load at once. That's why I'm asking for one week time. But I'm pretty sure we will get back to you as soon as we have received your email by this subject line. Let's start today's video. All right, guys, welcome back once again. I'm here at Friedrichstrasse, one of the most important stations here in Berlin. And by the way, these yellow trains, what you see, this is U-Bahn, underground trains, and there's S-Bahn here in Berlin, which uh, goes on the surface. So this is a place where uh, Parliament is, German Parliament, this is how it's called. I just came out of this U-Bahn station, Friedrichstrasse. So if I really have to make you guys relate uh, how important this place is. So if you're from Delhi, this is like a Malvianagar or South Delhi. Or if you're from Kolkata, then this is like a Behala. If you're from uh, Chennai, uh, you know how posh Teenagar is. Or if you're from Bangalore, you know how MG Road is. If you're from Mumbai, you know Nariman Point. So that important this place is. That's where S-Bahns are. They are on top. Uh, for U-Bahns, you go underground here. So as soon as you are out from S-Bahn station, just takes 10 minutes walking distance. Uh, you reach German parliament. is right here. All right, right behind me. This is a ministry for press. Anyway, so two important questions which I'll be answering in this video today. First one is, are you going to get placed after your graduation from German, French, Polish University or not? Are you going to have placement service uh, after you graduate just like in India what we have? It? Second question which I'll be answering is, this is not a question I would say, but rather I feel that this whole free German education is so damn twisted by some people for their own personal need. In the sense, I feel everybody thinks that they're eligible to get into free universities. So stick till the last, I'm going to be answering these two questions majorly. So when you start walking from the S-Bahn, when you come towards uh, Parliament, you're going to be seeing the back side of the Parliament and then now we are walking towards the front side where the main entrance is. So this is what it looks like from the front. I'm coming here almost after I think like three or four months. Normally I don't come this way. Uh, usually from S-Bahn or U-Bahn, I straight away go to my uh, workplace or wherever I want to go normally. So I'm just going to sit in front of the garden somewhere here and then start talking about the topic of today's video. Oh, one more thing, totally forgot to inform you guys. So this is where the parliament is and this is where Angela Merkel stays, right here in this building. This is Chancellor's house. So, lighting isn't that good because uh, I think it's a bit cloudy and at the same time, good warm, I would say. This is where we're gonna start now. Whatever I'm saying, this is purely out of my experience of traveling, visiting the campus, talking to professors. So far, I've already visited more than 35 campuses all over Germany, France, and one university in Poland. So based on that, I'm going to be sharing all my experiences here today. All right, so before I talk about the first question, which is regarding placements, I would like to address the second question first, which is regarding the admissions into public university. Now, to get into public university, there are a lot of factors which goes into place. For example, grades. If you have scored above 75, well and good, you have a chance. If you have scored less than 75, plus you have experience, then you have a chance. But if you have scored like somewhere between 40 and 50s or even 60 for that matter it becomes very tough for you to get into public university now this is just one factor I said there are a lot of factors like this which goes into the decision making for professors whether they want to go ahead with your profile or not second factor also which makes a huge difference is what bachelors have you done and what masters are you applying so the way professors decide whether they want to give you admission or not is the subjects what you've studied in your bachelors and the number of hours you had put in and number of credits you have earned out of that if someone who is trying to sell you this promise of they will get you admission into public university irrespective of whatever bachelors you have done that's wrong Okay, you have to be very careful that if you have done a bachelor's in mechanical engineering and someone is promising you that they will get you into masters, into whatever business studies in public university, 
that's completely wrong because last week i was talking to so many of you guys and i came across that a lot of people who are who were studying engineering and now they have by the time they have graduated or they are graduating they have lost their interest to pursue their career into engineering now they would like to switch to business studies for these kind of profiles it's almost impossible for you to get into public university let me make it clear again it's almost impossible for you to get into public university after you have done any engineering anything other than business studies in bachelors is almost impossible for you to get into public university do not fall for anything if someone is saying that no 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 don't worry we'll we'll apply and see we'll do this and that they are lying on your face they are lying so what i'm trying to say is whatever bachelor's you have done you will only get admission in that stream or in that area if i have done hotel management and now i would like to get into masters into business studies i would not be able to because the subjects what i've studied in my bachelor's do not match for professors for whoever is making the decision they will not be able to calculate the credits out of my previous subjects what i've studied so i hope that this is very clear for you guys with respect to admission into public university whatever bachelor's you have done go for masters in the same area especially when it comes to germany and especially when it comes to public university now the other side of everything what i'm talking is getting into private university if you are studying engineering now you would like to pursue your masters into one of the business studies no problem there are courses available in uh, private universities here pay the tuition fees and do the do the studies no doubt in that the only thing with private universities especially for all the engineering graduates is they would ask you to do this pre masters thing for one semester before you actually start with your actual masters for one year or two years please get in touch with me i will be happy to talk to you i'll be happy to suggest the universities i'll be happy to contribute into your success when it comes to making your career grow step by step with whatever knowledge i have acquired over the course of time now uh, being in this industry so now talking about the first question which was regarding the placement is there a placement service in germany or not no there is no placement service i have visited literally rank one university when it comes to business till worst ones in this country or whether you talk about public university no there is no such thing called placement services in germany i remember in india uh, talking to my friends or my own college when i was studying hotel management we had hotels or brands coming on our campus to recruit students no there is no such thing in germany or france or poland for that matter what i saw there are few exception universities which are amazing they have a super solid connections in industry even in those schools there is no campus placement such thing what they do is they do job fairs they do like you know they call 10 20 companies on their campus they they set up a stall there students have the access to go and talk to um, these people from the companies from there on the way to get inside any company in germany france or poland is by doing internship you have to do internship internship is a gateway for you to get access get a one foot inside the door of the company if you're able to perform if you're able to excel in during your internship there might be chances you might get absorbed as a full time employee as soon as you complete your internship it's extremely important for you to know what exactly do you want do you want to be an employee do you want to go ahead and work for some years for some company or do you want to start your company immediately so during my study time i did like 3 to 4 internship and i kind of got more and more clear by the end of the studies like yes i want to start my company and i would like to run that myself rather than going and working for some other company and that's what i'm doing right now there are some of my classmates who chose that they would like to go and work for someone and uh, yeah they they found their way out which is by doing internship and they got into the companies and there were also times where people did internship and they did not get a full time job in the same company either they didn't like the company or company didn't like them so that can happen so trying to wrap up this point you have to do internship if you want to get a full time job in in europe basically second way to do is to do a part time job or a student job somewhere there have been cases where i've seen that those part time jobs have also converted to full time job as soon as you have completed your studies third way 
to get into a full-time employment is also to write your thesis with one of the companies so there's a friend of mine working in Stuttgart right now with Bosch he's writing his thesis with them which is mandatory for most of the business studies or any master student here he's writing a thesis on one of the projects what Bosch is working on currently what he's been assured already by a manager that as soon as you complete this project you'll get your grades and then you can convert your visa from student visa into full-time employment so this is a third or a fourth way to get inside a company as a full-time employee I mean yes I do agree if there would be a placement service it would be so amazing like the whole journey of going abroad studying and now getting a job becomes more and more easy yes you need to build up strong connection with your professors in your university because those are the people who will connect you with real industry leaders if they like you as a student that is also one of the ways where some of my classmates have got a job because they impressed professor and professor had connections into industry. On this note, I hope that I've clarified regarding a public university that you only get admission if you've studied the same bachelor's into same master's. You cannot study hotel management, now get into business studies or you cannot study engineering and now you want to study master's into uh, uh, business administration in public university. You can get into private university. With respect to placement, there is no placement service here. Everybody has to work their way up. Everybody has to work on their profile. Everybody has to make the connection. Everybody have to make uh, uh, internships and part-time jobs and build bridges. On this note, I would like to say goodbye. Um, please go ahead and share this video for someone who is in need. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.